You're listening to the Dungeons, Dragons, and Psychology Podcast. As passionate players and dungeon masters, we often find ourselves ensnared in epic tales that span months or even years, forging bonds with characters, weaving intricate narratives, and immersing ourselves in fantastical realms. But in this enduring quest for immersive storytelling, we occasionally encounter a formidable adversary, burnout. I'm Robert Walker, author of Session Zero, the DMG to writing great campaigns in any system. And this is my show where I teach collaborative storytellers how to have more immersive campaigns using psychology. And today, we are going to embark on a contemplative journey into the world of campaign longevity and the ever-present specter known as burnout. Now, this is something I can tell you I've had to deal a lot with, not just in campaigns and game settings, but as I am at the very end of my master's program, burnout is something that I have definitely felt in other aspects of my life, especially in schoolwork and the many years that I've been going at this full force, this last couple months has been very difficult for me uh, to to stay enthused and to keep pushing forward. But excellent news, I graduate this upcoming week uh, with my Master's of Science in Psychology. Very excited about that. So uh, let's get on to the episode. Before we delve into the heart of the matter, let's unmask the formidable foe known as burnout. Burnout isn't just about feeling tired or disinterested. It's a complex psychological phenomenon that can sneak up on even the most passionate players and dungeon masters. Burnout in the context of tabletop role-playing games encompasses emotional exhaustion, a reduced sense of accomplishment, and depersonalization. It's that sense of being drained, emotionally spent, and unable to summon the enthusiasm and the energy you once had for the game. It can manifest as apathy, irritability, or a general sense of detachment, and it affects both players and dungeon masters alike. As burnout progresses, players and dungeon masters may experience a diminished sense of accomplishment. Tasks and challenges that were once exciting and fulfilling might now feel like burdens. This can erode self-esteem and contribute to further burnout. It's as if your character's heroic deeds, once a source of pride and fulfillment, have lost their luster. Additionally, depersonalization sets in, causing detachment from characters and the campaign world that was once vivid and immersive to you, and the rich tapestry of emotions and dreams and fears that once helped define your character might begin to unravel, replaced by a mechanical detachment from their plight. Recognizing the psychology behind burnout is crucial in our quest to safeguard our campaigns against it and its insidious influence to ensure their longevity. Burnout is rarely the result of a single cause, but rather a confluence of factors. Excessive stress from a high number of gaming commitments or unrealistic expectations regarding the frequency or the quality of gameplay, even a lack of variety in gameplay experiences or feeling powerlessness or a lack of energy or agency within the game world can all contribute to burnout, and understanding that those can be triggers are essential in combating it. It's also important to recognize that burnout within the context of a game, can have a significant impact on your overall well-being. It can lead to a sense of disillusionment, not only with the game, but also with the social bonds that game fosters, your friends around the table. Recognizing that that can happen underscores the importance of addressing it proactively. Now that you have an idea of the psychological underpinnings of burnout, let's look at the comprehensive strategies to safeguard your campaign against them and hopefully ensure their longevity. First of all, maintain balanced session pacing to prevent exhaustion. Be mindful of session length, ensuring it doesn't extend beyond the group's comfort zone, and incorporate short, frequent breaks to allow your players and yourself as a dungeon master to recharge. 
These intermissions can offer a chance to step away from the game momentarily, and it will allow you to re-energize and return to the table with a renewed sense of enthusiasm. Also foster open and empathetic communication within the gaming group. Encourage your players to express their feelings and concerns about the game openly and honestly, and address these issues as they arise. They can prevent your game from from falling apart due to festering uh, feelings of, of discontent with the game. If you can address those right away, then hopefully they don't lead to burnout in the first place. You want to establish a feedback loop where everyone's voices are heard and valued. And then be realistic about your gaming commitments. Avoid overloading your schedule with too many campaigns or too many sessions or other responsibilities. Consider your real-life obligations and the time that you can realistically dedicate to gaming. Setting achievable goals reduces the pressure that can contribute to burnout and can help ensure that your sessions remain a source of joy rather than a burden of stress. Injecting variety into your gameplay experiences will also help. Experiment with different game systems or different campaign settings and different narrative styles. Diversity in your portfolio keeps the experience fresh. It keeps it engaging for you. So if you also rotate roles within your group, don't always be the dungeon master. Take time to be a player. Take the mantle of dungeon master and pass it along for a while or uh, explore unique concepts. Just find different ways of, of having variety when you come to the table so it's not always the same thing. You also want to ensure that your players have a tangible sense of empowerment and agency. If they have that in your world, their choices should matter and they should also have consequences. When players feel like their decisions are shaping the narrative and influencing the outcomes of your world, they will be more deeply invested in the game. This active engagement can combat feelings of powerlessness, which are a feeling that contributes to burnout. You also want to let your game table prioritize self-care, and for yourself, it's an integral part of a gaming routine. Remembering that your well-being is paramount, engage in activities outside of the game that bring you joy and relaxation. Even better if you can engage in these activities with the social group that you come to the gaming table with. If you have other ways to have fun and let go, then it won't feel like the only time you ever spend together is sent, spent around the table dealing with the game. That can become an exhausting experience. You want to make sure that you're having fun in other forms and incorporating that variety into your self-care. Taking care of yourself always helps you ensure that you can bring your best self to the gaming table. These strategies are a great foundation for safeguarding. Implement these practices. Create an environment where gaming is not only enjoyable, but also sustainable and an enriching part of your life. Burnout may visit your campaign. It may cast a shadow on the vibrant tapestry of your adventures, but it doesn't have to be its final chapter. So let's talk a little bit about some strategies to reignite flames of enthusiasm and rediscover the joy in your role-playing experience. First, Introduce compelling narrative hooks and plot twists that can reignite curiosity and investment in the story. Surprise and intrigue are unexpected, and the unexpected captures our attention. The sudden appearance of a long-lost ally or an enigmatic artifact with untold powers or a plot twist that reshapes the entire campaign, that can rekindle a sense of wonder in the story. Dive deeper into character development and encourage your players to explore their backstories, their backgrounds, their motivations, what their arcs were. Perhaps uh, their backstory holds a hidden secret or an unresolved mystery just waiting to be unearthed. A well-rounded character can reignite player immersion as they rediscover the richness of their persona. You could also try engaging your players in collaborative world building letting them shape the campaign world with some new ideas or adding layers of depth and personal investment, whether it could be a unique region or a history of a mysterious faction or helping you create an NPC, maybe just finding any way to involve your players in the world building could reignite their connection to the setting by giving them a sense of ownership. 
And you could also take breaks from the main campaign with some mini campaigns or one shot. Try some short adventures to have a refreshing change of pace or a narrative focus that's different from what you're currently doing. This could allow your players to explore new characters or just test out a new system or or just give them that needed respite to come back to the game with more energy. And another thing is you want to invest time into improving your storytelling skills. Study narrative techniques, learn pacing, learn character development. The art of storytelling is a lifelong journey, and honing this craft can help you breathe life into your campaigns. Captivate your players with very vivid description and engaging NPCs and immersive storytelling. Make them laugh, make them cry. When you become a master of storytelling, it's very hard to get burnt out with a story because you're so invested and so enraptured by it. And always remember to seek feedback from your players. Reflect on what is working and find out what could be improved upon in the campaign. Use the feedback that they give you to adjust and evolve your narrative and your overall experience. The collaborative nature of tabletop gaming allows for constant refinement. That's one of its great beauties. Just remember the path to rekindling enjoyment in a game after burnout might require some time and some patience. It's about rediscovering and rebuilding that sense of wonder and camaraderie that initially drew you into the world in the first place. So if you implement these strategies, hopefully you'll be able to breathe life back into your campaigns and embark on fresh adventures with renewed enthusiasm. That is all for today, my cyclothid. Thank you so much for joining with me and being patient with me as I conclude this journey to my master's degree. Uh, I'm very excited that by the next time I am back with you, uh, I will have my degree and uh, a new chapter of my life will be beginning, so to speak. Uh, until then, you can always get in touch with me by Instagram, going to dungeons underscore dragons underscore psychology, where there is a link, tra link tree to all of my social links. Um, and you can also join our Patreon, where you can support the show by becoming an official cyclothid and helping the show grow. As always, my cyclothids, we will see you next session.